Hello everyone, my name is Kang Liu. Today it's my honor to give this talk for our methods on weekly supervised high resolution segmentation of mammography images for breast cancer diagnosis. This is joint work by NYU Center for Data Science and NYU Medical School. In recent years, deep learning classifiers are widely used in image-based medical diagnosis. They achieve very impressive results, yet their outputs are often difficult to interpret. This is a huge limitation for the application in medical domain, where the medical experts would expect the model to have some ability for interpretation so that the prediction can be trusted. In some application scenarios, such as breast cancer diagnosis utilizing mammography images, localization can be helpful in providing interpretations. For example, in this input mammography images, if we have a segmentation model to highlight the lesions, which is green here, to associate that with the breast cancer diagnosis, then we are more confident about the model. However, training such fully supervised segmentation model requires pixel-wise annotation, which is very expensive and sometimes even not available. Under such circumstance, weekly supervised localization method can be used to localize the object, utilizing only image-level labels. This is inspired by some pioneer work, which rivals that the high-level feature maps of convolution neural networks actually rivals the most influential regions that's responsible for the model prediction. Most of the existing methods for weekly supervised localization are designed for natural images of resolution like 300 multiple 500. In the medical application, the resolution can be very high. For example, for mammography images, it can be as high as 2,000 multiple 3,000. Under such circumstances, in order to accommodate the limited GPU memories, the neural networks need to do very aggressive downsampling. As a result, the, re the sensing map is in a very low resolution compared to the original images, which fails to localize the lesions with high precision. For example, this is the output by CAM, which is a very popular method for weekly supervised localization for natural images. As we can see, it's kind of a course. And we have a GMIC result, which is a specialized classifier for high resolution breast cancer screening. The resulting science map is also not satis satisfactory enough. In our methods, we try to get high resolution serenity map to precisely localize the lesions. In order to do that, we first have a low capacity global network to apply on the whole images so that we can get a coarse image level serenity map based on which we have a patch selection method to extract some key patches that may contain the lesions. And then we have a high capacity local network to preserve the resolution of the patches and produce high resolution serenity maps to this end, our final sensing map would be a combination from the global module and the local module, so that it's aware of the global context as well as local details. One crucial challenge for that is that we need to channel patch level sensing map networks without patch level labels. Our solution for that is that we combine the insights from weekly supports learning and multiple instance learning to channel local module hierarchically. To this end, our network is able to retrieve much better performance than the previous method, as you can see in the images. So giving an input images, this is ground truth, this is the previous methods, and this is our method. We can see that we achieve much more fine-grained localization performance and with more precise localizations. And we also have an example for a malignant case. As shown here, our method also performs better than the previous one. So we also summarize the comparison results in the table shown here. So we evaluate the performance across different evaluation metrics for segmentation like dice and pixel-wise average precisions. And our methods achieve better performance than the competing ones across different metrics for both uh, malignant case and benign case. Thanks.